Hi, how are you doing? Thank you for clicking onto this video. So in today's video, I'm going to give you my honest review of I'm from Mugworth Essence. Now I have used this essence for about two months now and I have some comments on this product. So if you wanted to know my honest review on this product, whether you should give this product a try or who this essence is suitable for, make sure you keep on watching. So let's get started. My name is Gladys, I'm a skincare enthusiast, I love everything about skincare and I share video on skincare related topics. So if you wanted to know how we can perfect your skincare routine or what product is good for you, feel free to subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell. So let's start with looking into the ingredient of this product. Now this ingredient is fairly simple within this product, it's only with 100% Muckworth essence. Now Muckworth is also named as Artemisia, so there are other Korean brand uses Artemisia as the product name instead of naming the product as Muckworth. If you see Artemisia, it's actually the same ingredient, same type of plant. Mugworth has been used in Chinese medicine and it has a very long history in Chinese medicine. How they use it, one of the ways they use this leaf is to they roll the leaves into a roll or like a slight, tiny little cool so that they would burn the leaves on our acupoints on our body to help to heal the body itself. The idea of the function of the burning of the leaves on our acupoints is just like acupuncture. So instead of inserting the needle into your body, uh, they use the burning of the leaves on those acupoints to stimulate those acupoints so that it can help to heal our body. This leaf leaf is actually extensively being used in Chinese medicine. It's been long known that of its anti-inflammatory properties. Also, if digested, it can help support our immune system. It's soothing, it's calming, it's antibacterial. It's actually been used for a very long time in Chinese history. So with all these great properties of mugwort, what about we apply it on our skin using this I'm from toner? So from this I'm from toner, it contains 100% mugwort extract. Now you're going to ask, what about those preservatives? Actually, it has preservatives in it. It's just that it was not listed in the product. I don't know why maybe KFDA have a regulation on they don't need to uh, list out the ingredient list under a certain percentage. That's what I suspect. When I was doing research on this video, I heard one of the YouTubers saying they actually used one to Hesenadal. I don't know how to read this <laughs> ingredient. So if you don't already know how manufacturer produced plant extract is through a solvent. So they will either use water, they will either use oil or alcohol in order to extract or get the nutrients from the plant itself. Now for I'm from, uh, they use a preservative 1-2-hexanendal. Hexen, um, so they use this ingredient or preservative as a solvent to do the extracting of the mugworth extract so that the liquid itself already has the preservative element. Now whether they have added other ingredients that are below a certain percentage, I'm not sure. I couldn't find much of the details online. But essentially, I would say that it has a high concentration of mugworth extract as well as has a bit of preservative in it so that it prevents the extract from getting moldy. And this preservative actually can be found in a lot of the skincare products. So let's talk about the usage. So this product actually has no additional fragrance added, there's no alcohol, no essential oil, so it's all natural. They even labeled it as all vegan. Obviously, you know, they only have the plant extract itself, so it's all vegan. So the, the scent this essence has was just purely from the mugworth itself. It's slightly herbal, very woody kind of scent. It's not strong at all. You'll get used to it when you use it and kind of dissipate quite quickly after you applied it. The texture itself is very liquidy. It has a bit of a viscosity in it. My skin would quickly absorb the essence itself. It is very lightweight. I don't feel this heavy around my skin. Now what about did I see any of the difference on my skin? The effect of the mugwort kicks in quite subtly and also it doesn't show the effect immediately. I think when I first started using it I didn't see much of a difference of my skin. It doesn't really particularly like wow me when I first use it. It doesn't really necessarily calm my skin immediately. However, a week and two in, I can see that my skin start to have this calming effect because I use a retinaldehyde serum at night. So sometimes I would have breakout during the day and the essence itself would actually help me to calm down those redness as well as the about to erupt acne kind of purging from the vitamin A serum. Overall, I didn't see any kind of negative effect on my skin. It was more on the soothing side than the hydration side. And also I used this essence right after I did some facial procedure or laser on my skin. And the essence itself, it's like mildly helpful calming my skin down because my skin was quite red. So I wouldn't say that this product is like, a, oh my god, it's gonna help me calm my skin down. Unlike some of the serum that I use from a medical brand, I can immediately see that it helps calming my skin. Versus this one is more like a mild version. The effect of the essence or the calming effect would comes in slightly delayed, like a week or two. So you're gonna ask, should you buy it? Should you give this product a try? This Mugworth essence would also be beneficial for people who are suffering hey. from mask knee or any kind of irritation as a result of wearing a face mask. This essence will actually help calm the skin down and without having to leave you your skin feeling heavy. However, another however, 
Don't expect this product to give you like, oh my god, a lot of moisture on your skin. It, it can slightly hydrate your skin, but not to an extent where you will feel like, oh, chuk chuk gale. The Korean said, very watery kind of skin. Don't expect this to be a hydrating, moisturizing essence. It's more like a calming, soothing uh, essence. So if you are craving for that kind of function, make sure you give this product a try. I also see that there's another brand, Misha, also has the Artemisia first treatment essence. Now that product is slightly different from this Ansem essence uh, because the Misha one has double fermented their Artemisia extract. I was trying to find what's the difference between fermented plant extract versus a not so much fermented plant extract. I find that there are studies that shows that the benefit of those plant extract would be intensified if they go through the fermentation process. However, from the study itself, it says it doesn't have enough on human trial to support this claim. The research only mainly focused on the ingredient itself. So we don't know whether the fermented version of the plant extract would increase the bioavailability of that particular ingredient on our skin. So whether the Misha one would be more effective on our skin, um, given the research itself, I, I don't know. I have not personally used it. So if you have tried the Misha Artemisia first treatment essence, make sure you leave a comment down below and let me know if you find that more soothing or more hydrating. I have another video on the I'm from Rice toner. Feel free to check that video out. If you have enjoyed what I've shared today, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. I will see you in my next one. Bye!